had an absolutely sensational session hunting over the sand. I saw some big thornback rays, shot a few plates in flounder, I even saw a dover sole off North Wales. It's an absolutely brilliant session and it's great to come out with loads of food for the freezer. Now, I actually started out intending to hunt the bass, but there were none present, so pretty quickly I decided to switch things up and look for flatfish. Now I saw an imprint pretty much straight away. This is a pretty decent sized flatfish, and it was good to know they were around. And straight away after that, I shot this place here. Not a massive place, about 35 centimeters probably. These sort of place, a fantastic uh, baked hole, best way to cook them. The bigger ones you can fill them and breadcrumb them, but this one will be a lovely baked hole and a bed of new potatoes. Now there were loads of small flounder around and if you look at this clip here you can see all the worm cast and you can actually sat on a worm cast here and I quite often find that off the sheltered coast in North Wales these worm casts are a great place to hunt for flounder they're pretty consistently there they might sometimes be buried in the sand now, I found a much larger place in this little gully sheltering uh, from any kind of current or swell behind the rocks this is uh, quite a decent fish and um, you can see a much smaller one here now I put my hand over this to size it up you can see obviously it's far too small but it spooked straight away see another place here there were really were unbelievable numbers of flatfish on this time it's all about 200 and you can see this place here just kind of hiding underneath the weeds as they sway backwards and forwards it's it's big enough to shoot um, well barely barely legal um, so I just kind of left it I'd already already shot two place You can see here I dived down and actually uh, managed to grab it by hand. Plays are unbelievably tame sometimes. Flounders seem to shoot off pretty quickly, so you've got to, got to shoot your gun straight away. But place just basically just sit there and completely trust their camouflage. You can see a, um, a flounder here just kind of shooting off, showing how they spook quite easily. Now, see if you can spot the place here before I pull the trigger. It's probably fairly obvious where it is. Now, I thought this place might potentially be sat on top of a rock so I pulled the um, the band down onto one of the less powerful notches on the spear didn't want to blunt my spear hitting a rock behind the flatfish and then again it's a place so you yeah, really took my time made sure a good good shot here and took the fish now after this I headed to a significantly deeper area this is all between 9 to 12 meters I was hoping to find a really big place what was really cool was to see so many thornback rays. I probably saw about 20 thornback rays in this session. They're one of my favourite species to see underwater. It's just quite a cool fish to, to have a look at. And my first couple of years spearfishing, I never even saw one, but I've seen loads this year. Now this is the imprint of an absolutely monstrous place. So I'll have to go back to this area. This is about 12 metres and hunt in the deeps to uh, try and find these. Now the rays were just thick on the ground. I don't know why there were so many here. Yeah, it must have just been the, the perfect habitat for them. And I love just watching them swim. Just that kind of really cool rippling motion of their fins, like they're flying. A really, really amazing fish. And you can see another one here. It's really incredible how they manage to almost mould themselves onto the bottom. Their bodies are so flexible that any kind of ripple in the sand, they can just sort of mould themselves over to camouflage themselves. Now after seeing these rays, didn't see any flatfish, I headed back to the shallows to see what else might be around. Now this, I don't know how well you can see it, it's the imprint of a Dover sole. A very, very unusual fish in North Wales, it's a big one, about 50 centimetres. And see if you can see the sole here. There is a sole in this video, completely unburied, just sat on the surface. Now I'll dive down in a second to uh, take a closer look to see if you can see it before I do. And there it is, far too small to shoot, but evidence they are around. Now I hit an area that's actually quite a popular mark. You'll, if you know Anglesey, you'll recognise it straight away from the end of this video. Um, very popular mark, I don't mind giving it away because it gets hammered anyway. And to be honest, all I found there was flounder. Now 
Ali decided to take a few flounder. And again, you can see here, flounder just sat in the worm cast, as I was saying before. Um, decided to take a few. I do quite like eating them. And I find the best way to cook a decent sized flounder is baked whole, often on a, a bed of new potatoes with some lemon wedges, plenty of butter, and some salt and pepper can be a very delicious fish to take. And most of the flounder here were too small, about hand size, but I found this one here that was substantially bigger. So I pulled the trigger and took it. Again, not a huge fish, but uh, plenty big enough to eat. Now the flounder started to come thick and fast after this. There were absolutely unreal numbers about. I've never seen anything like it. Took another one here, and I probably could have taken 20 in this cove, uh, but I, I decided to only take a few because I just, I just don't need that many. Now, it was very strange how every single flatfish seemed to be above the sand and I couldn't quite work out why it was. Now interestingly on this day there was a huge moon. The moon was really close to the earth. Now the moon does affect a lot of different species of fish. I know it affects pike which is a freshwater coarse fish that I do a lot of that for online fishing for. Um, pike feed a lot harder on full moons. You know, it even affects the behaviour of humans. There's more violent crime when there's a full moon. Now I don't know if this affected the behaviour of the fish but there were absolutely stacks of flatfish about. I've never seen anything like it before. And it was really nice just to take a decent catch of flatfish. Sometimes I've looked quite enviously at photos of other people on social media with big strings of them. Um, but when you get the right conditions it really is quite easy. You know, this session was a very straightforward session. The flatfish were just about. And you can see they're all sort of fairly decent sized flatfish. One pretty nice sized place. The rest of them, you know, all kind of decent sized. And I went away very happy after this session. You know, really, really pleased with it. And it was just one of those moments where I just kind of looked back over the cove I was spearing at and just really enjoyed just being in the moment. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Next time, join me in the Republic of Ireland. I shoot some good pollock at depth and some good bass in the shallows. So if you enjoyed that video, please do give it a like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Much appreciated. Appreciated, sorry. And it really helps me out and it does help the channel grow.